Hello there my friends, uh, this video will be a simple guide for anyone who is willing to learn how to fly and don't know how. So I'm gonna go over controls and then go to maneuvers. I'm gonna explain controls on keyboard, not joystick in case you are using it. There are 7 keys on keyboard that I recommend you to use. W, A, S, D, Control, Shift and Space. So what does WASD buttons do? WE key induces forward thrust. S button reduces this forward thrust that WE key has induced. A key and D key slowly lets you turn left and right. From your perspective, space thrusts you upwards, but control downwards. Control's thrust is lesser than space thrust, since with space you can lift off and beat gravity, but with control you cannot. In the last key we have shift. This activates afterburner, foresight and liberator in case it is installed on it. Moving your mouse left and right will engage your aircraft to start roll on one side. Pulling your mouse or pushing your mouse will engage your aircraft to either tilt upwards or downwards, aka pitching up or down. Remember that you can control pitch and roll through arrow keys, but in real combat you will not use them, so I do not recommend even touching them. And so let's move on to maneuvers. First maneuver is very simple. It will allow you to move left and right without any turning. You'll have to use space and roll. You have to roll your sight on one of your sides and then press space. This thrust you gain from space will trust you left or right and you will still be able to aim forward. In real combat with this maneuver you can evade a lot of missiles and a lot of gunfire and it also looks cool. This maneuver is actually very good for training your precision and aiming. For example if you are bored in warp gate you can train your precision by moving from left side to right side in certain intervals and try to do that as fast as possible. In video you can see a great example. Next maneuver, possibly the most important maneuver you can learn, is how to turn faster than normal. And I am referring to A and D keys. Since with pitch, you can pitch quite fast, you can use it to turn. So just like previous maneuver, you have to roll on your side and then use your pitch to either pitch it up or down, perspective to you. But in reality, you will be turning left or right. Turning in midair when you are not moving will cause you to start falling, to lose your altitude, which means you will have to compensate with spacebar afterwards. But once you start flying at least 100 km per hour, you will not fall and therefore you won't have to compensate with spacebar. You will get stuck, and to get out you will need to reverse, but there are no reverse button on any aircraft so you'll have to improvise. And to go backwards, you just need to tilt your sight upwards and slowly press space. But if you're not stuck, forget about slowing down, you can press space all you want. But remember to avoid other enemy or your friendly aircrafts, and buildings and other obstacles of course. Next maneuver I would call rapid lift off. Since using space or double V key you can already lift off a little bit and start moving forward. But if you want to really lift off fast you could use shift key instead of space or both together. In that way your aircraft will lift off very fast if it has afterburner. You can also use your afterburner to increase your movement backwards if you have tilted your aircraft upwards. But to move backwards, you must not move forward, otherwise your sight or other aircrafts will start engaging in plane mode. So what is this plane mode? It's basically when aircraft is acting more like a plane, not helicopter, which it does when you are not moving forward. So all maneuvers I've been talking about have to have heli mode, except rapid turning. There are two ways to move forward. One is by pressing double V key, another one is pressing space. When you're pressing space and moving forward, S key has no effect on it, so it won't break. Knowing this, and also using rapid turn maneuver, and maybe A or D button, depending on which direction you will turn, you can execute reverse maneuver. So you start off 
by turning on one of your sides and pitching down which will execute the turn maneuver. At the same time, press A or D key, depending on which direction you are going, and space button to move yourself forward. But in actuality, once you turn, you'll start moving backwards, which is the point of reverse maneuver. It's being able to aim at your enemy while you're moving backwards. And this is another way how to move backwards. This maneuver is definitely used in dogfights, when ESFs are fighting each other, and the one who is winning usually is the one who can turn faster and at the same time can aim at the enemy and of course start shooting. Remember that once you are pressing space, you are inducing some kind of trust, and this trust could actually transfer to your double V key trust. Therefore, I would suggest you to always press S button when you are executing one of these moves, except turning maneuver in case you are flying. So guys, to really learn how to fly is not only knowing the theory, but also having some practice. So for me, at least at first, it took almost all trees in Indar to ram before I actually learned how to fly. Maybe you'll be luckier, maybe not, who knows. However, I hope you enjoyed my lessons on flying and I really hope that you'll be able to learn how to fly through these maneuvers I've told you. And so, as usual, please uh, give thumbs up to this video and uh, subscribe to my channel. There are a lot more tutorials for you to see on planet side. And maybe, who knows, in future some more stuff will come up. So stay tuned. And also go to Woodman server on Vanu Sav of course, because we are the best, and we are the enlightened, and uh, I'm a part of KOTV outfit, so maybe you'll enjoy playing with us, and I see you next time.